Hey there, welcome back to the channel. I promised a video of me using the Laser Spot Tracker, or LST, and I was recently able to do a stream where I put it to work. The area where I was engaging targets had several 2S6 Tunguskas protecting it, so I used a JTAC for remote lasing and successfully fired Hellfires in low al high to engage them while still masked. I was then able to unmask and use the JTAC's laser to laze the target, find his spot with the LST, and continue the engagement with the JTAC's laser guiding the missiles to the targets. Here is a short excerpt from that stream showing how it all worked out. And we're going to come to a hover so I can uh, figure out what's going on. I'm going to try to hover in 2D, which is this, this is going to be interesting. Let's see. Little attitude, attitude hole. Okay. Come on. You got it. Hang out right here. Let's see where we are on the map. Okay. Uh, all right. I think... Yeah. All right, I think we're generally facing the right direction now. Let's give it a shot. Fixed wing, five o'clock, searching. See if it finds us a 2S6. Oh, this might be a little bit better. Tried to shoot it down. Yeah, boy. That's how you do it. Where's my JTAC? Give me something else to shoot. There we are. Lazing new target. 2S6. Hawk. 5 o'clock. Searching. Okay. Let's do it. Here we are. Yeah, see, now that we're pointed in the right direction, it will actually go after targets. Ooh, Missile. can we miss? Oh, it missed. Ha <laughs> ha! Booyah! Nice. Look at that. Just sitting here behind a hill. Fixed wing. One o'clock. Banging Searching. out targets. Rolling. Five o'clock. Let's do another. Here we go. Another 2S6. It's turning. Oh, yeah. This is how it works. This is how it's supposed to work, right? All right. Um, let's see what else he's got for us. There we go. A tour. All right. Here we go. Oh wait. Hold on. What side's it coming? It's coming off the other side. This will be a cooler view, right? Here we go. See, this is how it is supposed to work. Oh, these are kilos, not lemus. 
Booyah. Five o'clock. Searching. All right. Now. Let's do something else. Since we got rid of the two S6s, they can't really do anything. They don't have anything that can range us. So, we're going to go ahead and come up. Unmask, if you will. I'm going to try to keep it at a hover. And then, once we are completely unmasked, Unmasked. I'm going to turn it over to George. Buddy lazing for Apaches in the A-10. Yeah, it's... Buddy lazing so cool. Because, like, I can just sit back here and lob missiles all day long. All I need is somebody to put a laser spot on the target. And we are good to go. All right, almost there. Almost there. All right, that's probably good. That's probably good enough. It's just real easy on the collective. Reduce that rate of descent to nothing. There it is. Attitude, altitude. All right, here we are. Now, let's see if I can do this without crashing. Uh, all right, here we go. Nope, wrong button. Number two, not F2. Number two. All right, you got it, George. Doing good. All right, let's get rid of that. Uh, here we are. <coughs> so apparently he's lazing somewhere out here. Let's move it over here. I don't know. I can't remember where I slaved my or where I mapped my laser spot tracker to. So we're gonna do this. Here it is. And let's see what he's got for us. He's got a ZU23 as uh, advertised. So let's was missile. And you can see where it says down here, remote, primary channel track, because we're still on the JTAX A code. And we're going to go ahead and let that one go. We're not squeezing laser. Like, if I squeeze the laser, it's going to look like this. Whoop. Oh, no, it's not even letting me squeeze the laser. But it would have the... Uh, the X over the crosshairs letting you know that you're you've got active laser out there we don't have that and we have the remote message on the left side letting us know that we are shooting a remote hellfire so off we go rifle back out of field of view and we can watch the missile too let's watch the missile from the missile's point of view. Booyah! That's pretty awesome. Alright, JTAC, give me something else. And there it is. You see the, uh, the laser spot tracker just moved. Didn't have to do uh, anything because it's still in that automatic mode, still searching. So here we go. Right on. And here we go. Let's watch it again. Does it get much better than this? 
I mean, this just makes life so easy. Okay, now we see he's lazing another ZU-23, so we'll go ahead and turn it back on. And there it is. We're in constraints. Rifle. I have no idea what the range is on these targets. Rolling. And that's one Five thing that you would have 13. to confirm. Uh, you'd have to make sure that you're within uh, your range limitations. Five um, and the range limitations are a little bit different based on the position of the uh, laser. So if you're... Oh, did he already? He already found it. Oh, okay. He's lazing the truck now. Well, turn your laser on, dude. He's not lazing. So if I fire this off, hold on. Let's try something. All right. Well, apparently he's lazing, but my missile is not seeing it yet. So let's see what happens. Let's watch it. Give it a shot. Rifle. Let's see if it finds this laser spot. Ooh, I'm not optimistic on this one. I don't know. Okay, it's turning. There we go. All right, that worked out. All right, let's turn this off. Wait for him to say he's lazing something new. There it is, let's find it. Boom, there it is. We'll go ahead and turn the spot tracker off. Uh, see what happens when we turn the spot tracker off? It starts to drift. So, turn on some LMC, and then turn the spot tracker off. And, rifle. Oh, wait. Let's do something. That's a cool view. Ha <laughs> ha! Nice. So, the laser spot tracker works. Does what it's supposed to do. Allows you to buddy lays, shoot remote hellfires. Um, that's pretty awesome. Uh, yeah. As you saw, having someone else lazing for you is a beautiful thing. We were able to stay masked and out of the 2S6's line of sight and still engage with hellfires. Once that threat was eliminated, we were able to unmask and use the JTAX laser to find the targets using the LST. I won't bore you with the chatter from the rest of this stream, but we can watch the remaining Hellfire engagements. I do want to take a minute to say thanks to all of you watching my videos. We're at nearly 3,000 subscribers to the channel, and I can't believe how many of you have taken the time to watch these. I do this for fun and to help the greater DCS Apache community with any tidbits of knowledge that I can remember from my time flying this amazing machine. Thank you so much for your support, and I'll see you out there in a multiplayer server near you sometime in the future. Thanks again.